Automatrix N Track Theft Recovery Operation. It's Monday, the 3rd of December 2018. We took a call around about quarter past eight this morning from a construction company. They turned up on site um, and one of their excavators was missing. So they've asked us to put the Automatrix N Track in alarm and recover this. Um, they've reported it to Suffolk Police. So we've got a crime number and we've uh, sent a signal to put the Automatrix N Track into alarm and that connected around about 10 past 11. So we've driven up from Southampton and it's about half past one, something like 50 miles to go before we get to the site. Um, we're gonna have to do a radio find. It's, it's reported on a cell site just south of Sudbury and um, we're gonna have to put a roof antenna on the car and scale that area. There's, um, it's quite a rural location. Uh, we've had a little look on the satellite around the, the phone mast area. It doesn't appear to be any industrial units around, but um, maybe the office will ring me through with some, some target areas just to drive around and pick up the signal. So, yeah, without the GPS, it means we're going to have a little bit of a search on our hands. So it could be 35, 45 minutes. We'll see if we're doing well. Uh, as soon as we pick up the radio signal, 15, 10, 10, 15 minutes, we should be more or less onto the stolen machine. Um, we might need to see if it's in a field or something. We've got the drone on board, so if we do need to send it across the field to have a look, we can do that. So we're all kitted up, ready to go. Suffolk's police have uh, got a crime number, and we just need to contact with Suffolk police once we get uh, uh, an eyeball or a really strong signal uh, for them to come and attend. We've just pulled over about eight miles away from the search site, and um, I'm gonna plug the roof antenna into the radio receiving equipment. Just turn it on. We make sure we have it on a... We've got a near, a medium and a far setting. So we just have it on the far setting. There we go, we're all sorted. So we can get going. We've got about an hour and a half of light. So hopefully we can crack this out before it gets dark. That's the main thing. Cool. So we're still about five miles away from the, the center of the cell site, but we've got the uh, roof antenna turned on already because we could be picking up the signal any time now, really. So just a few miles outside. So always good to have the, uh, the pickup on the RF turned on as, as we're driving towards the postcode for the south site. Got quite a large industrial estate here. So um, as it's quite close by, I thought we'd do a sweep around the estate. Um, Wow, that's pretty impressive. We've got a signal. I can hear that. So we had a bit of luck there. We've pulled up before the postcode in this industrial estate. Hello Richard, it's Richard here from R&D. How you doing, all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I think I might have picked up the signal. Um, I was just going towards the area and I'm on an industrial estate uh haven hill industrial estate um yeah, yeah i know where haven i'm not far from haven hill at the moment right so that's that's i'm in the industrial estate and i'm just going to be looking around here for like five ten minutes give us another call when all you're right. give us another call when you're in the estate yeah yeah all right Thank all right you. cheers Thank bye you. bye Bye. so yeah that's that's the owner of the company on the phone there and um he's just seeing where i am uh, but obviously we've got this signal. Um, we're going to drive around this industrial estate, see if we can pinpoint it a lot more accurate for when the customer arrives. And then we'll have to get the police here. Well, that signal's gone now. So we had it while we was up quite high. No RF coming through here at the moment. Right, we've picked up the RF. We're in quite a rural location. We're getting a bit of interference from the telegraph poles. Definitely coming in nicely now. OK, 
place called Ashen. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we're right on top of it here. Right, so it's going away. I think it's back in that warehouse back there. I'm going to have trouble turning round now. to be private property there. Hiya Richard, right so I picked up the signal but it's going on to some private land so um, if you want you can come to this area where I am but I'm gonna have to call the police. Yeah, Fox's Road yeah. Yeah. And, and it goes to Upper Farm. There's a place called Upper Farm and it's, it's just a dirt track that goes up to the farm and then on the right hand side is a quite a nice cottage um, and I think there's a barn and I think it's inside the barn or behind the barn. I might just yeah. I'm, I might just go down there and put the drone up because I've got a drone I've only got about another 45 minutes of daylight so I might actually fly it over the back and have a look. That'll be, yeah. e that'll be easier. So we think down here on the right hand side in a barn or behind this barn See in the barn. Hello, hello, hello. There she is. That's why we couldn't get a GPS signal. That's brilliant. Fantastic. That's brilliant. I thought it was in that barn. Just make sure no one's watching me. That could be. So the customer has uh, driven up and he's just at the end of this road. Uh, I've asked the customer to actually call the police because we're going to need the police here even though we've seen it in that barn we're going to need uh, the police because I'm not sure if that barn is owned by the thatch cottage bungalow the current situation the uh, we're waiting for the police basically here the recovery trucks here um, but there's no police so we can't go down to that area. Obviously, it's dark now. <laughs> that's all right. No, no, no. That's that, to be honest, that ain't bad. <laughs> I've done done three or four hours before, so. I mean, the actual thatch cottage looks pretty pucker. Looks nice. Yeah, it could be at least out some, isn't it? Mm. It looks as, like you say. It doesn't really look like it's attached, does it? I thought that might happen. You didn't come your way. You didn't come our way, no. Police turned up, we went down to the barn and the, and the digger was gone. So someone's taken it out the other end of the lane. We thought it was a, a, a dead end, but they've, they've taken it out the other lane. So the chase is on now. We've got to find this digger for a second time. Here we go. So yeah, just taking a call from the police. They've got three or four police cars. We're, we're tracking it for a second time now, tracking it live. So someone's come and picked it up in a four by four, driven it away, and they sort of know the area where it's gone to. So they, they think they know where it might go to. So I'm still tracking it in the vehicle. The officer's still feeding through the information. So we're gonna, sh 
they've told us not to go to that site um, but to hang fire a little bit back from that site so maybe we're getting there a bit later so we just have to see so right um, we've got our first GPS in and um, the office have just radioed through that to one of the pursuit vehicles so hopefully they're going to be at that location and catch these criminals we've got about five miles to go to that location we need to hang back as well so um, this is turning into a bit of a, a chase quite exciting let's, let's just hope we keep this get this digger back though for the customer and maybe catch some bandits while we're at it that'll be cracking but what did the police officer say yeah, he was on the phone to me and I was describing the location and they were trying and the next thing he said, police said pursuit off, just cut off, so obviously they were chasing something. Oh, right, okay. So, But it's yeah, still stationary, yeah? Yeah, postcode there, so I was just trying to get another one in. It looks like a big scrapyard with the treatment works at, behind it. Yeah. It's quite a long lane you have to go down. Let me just see if I've got the RF. I've got the RF. I've got the RF. So literally just parked up outside this yard area where the, the police have gone into the yard. Um, they don't want us to follow them through so we're going to have to wait until we get the thumbs up really. Um, obviously trying to get an arrest here. Hello, PC Marshal. Oh hi, it's just Richard from Automatrix. Just wondered how you're getting on. Yeah, getting on all right. Um, recover yeah. the digger. Oh, fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'll... I'll uh, Give you a full update. Um, yeah. On the can. Currently a bit tied up at the minute. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. That's all right. Good. No worries. Cheers. Mate. Thanks. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi, Richard. It's Richard. Hello, mate. Hi. So they found. They've got the digger. They've got it. Um, Do we want to send a lorry or not? I don't think so at the moment. I, they're obviously got a rest as well because he said he's a bit tied up there at the moment to give me any more information. So I, I think. Oh, right. um, yeah. But in saying that, I mean, um, obviously, if, I mean, how long would it take you to get that low loader here? I'll get the lorry and I'll get him to head this way anyway. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, he can always turn away uh, again, can't he? But at least he's he's, right, he's just confirmed he's got the machine. All right. So that's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Right, mate. Well done. Cheers, bye. 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 Wow, that's great. Uh, we don't want to lose that machine after finding it once. So yeah, find he's got it a, a second time and um, this time the police are going to get an arrest, hopefully. Uh, it all sounds good. Hiya. All right, so the police said we can go down there now. So I'm just going down. I just right. want to make sure I went down the right place, really. Can you see the lane between the two bungalows? Is it between the two bungalows, is it? Oh. I've just been speaking to Thomas Sullivan. All right. The, um, alarm and he just rang to say there were some pikies around in the yard that the um, farmer went to check. Alright. Oh, they, they were actually on it starting it. Really? Yeah, he said the last week he said they even nicked some diesel, some diesel off the farmer. Right. Little friend the left here is it? Or? Yeah, probably around to the left. There's the police car, so we must be walking in the right direction. Hello. Okay, lovely oh, place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So, have you already got off the trailer? It was already off. This is how we found it. Oh. Um, I take it that one's your one, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. And there's a solid tractor behind it as well, so we're giving that away. Oh, that's good. So, uh, that's yeah. really good. So, did you apprehend anyone? No, got rammed off the road. Yeah, didn't you're, joking, yeah. you got rammed off the road. Yeah, got rammed off the road. You know who it is. Yeah. Um, so that was great, yeah. Well, I didn't want to sort of go too far from here. Nah. Do you know how, no, we don't want it to go again, that's for sure. Not many of us, we are pretty much here. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, and that's the tractor as well, yeah. Cracking, cracking, cracking. Hello. I didn't know it had a Caesar number on it. Um, 
Don't look like they've done any damage to it. Looks all right. This is the tractor. Our flight number is 41AE6F. It's the data tag Caesar, Caesar plate. Right, that's the Caesar plate. I'm yeah, the, yeah, it's the Caesar that, plate. I if you can work out a weight from that. That'll be about 80k, easy. I'd have thought, 70 or 80. It'd be easier to say what's not stolen in this yard, wouldn't it, really? We've run for the vehicles, none of them are Oh, goodness sake. Well, this is they want. This is a very special one. <laughs> right. Okay. Worth the investment. Right. Let me get out of the way. Don't lift me. Yeah. Got a tracker in this thing, then, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, a good tracker as well, by all counts. It's a good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Found the toys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.